May I come in? Sir. Please. Shashank. Yes, sir. Uh, take your seat, please. Thank you, sir. My last question to you. There are certain districts called aspirational districts. Have yes. you heard about it? And there's some something latest the CM have, uh, Prime Minister has uh, in a meeting they said about aspirational blocks. So what are these and uh, what exactly is done there in these places? Uh, these aspirational districts are those districts which are uh, lacking in some socio-economic development in indicators. We have a program called aspirational districts program which is running for this uh, aspirational district. How many districts are there? there? Uh, in the first phase 115 districts and in the second phase 10 or 9 districts. Okay. What about blocks? I'm not aware of. You're it. not aware of it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, Mr. Sashank. Yes, sir. Welcome to the interview. Thank you, sir. See, uh, you are not very fond of movies and all, but okay. Uh, now this is a time of OTT platforms. Yes. What is OTT platform? Uh, over the top platform it is called, and uh, it is uh, like democratization of movies uh, the platform democratization and there is a censor board which censors uh, movies and all yes. do, do the censor board have jurisdiction over the ott also uh, as my limited knowledge is like uh, it rules have some uh, overview over ott platforms but censorship is not applicable okay i give you the topic that ott should be brought under censor board you speak 30 second in favor of that 30 second against that Tell me what are your arguments on both sides. So first I will speak in favor of uh, OTT brought under censorship. Because OTT are, uh, the content of the OTTs are so much violent and uh, it is, uh, and OTT is very much uh, reachable to the uh, children group also. So it should be brought under censorship in which there should be parental locks and all the other uh, things which uh, which might uh, benefit to the children age group and uh, because it is uh, coming up with so much of uh, violent activities in that it much must be brought into censorship act uh, second i'll talk about not bringing it into censorship is that it is the freedom uh, with which uh, ott platforms work and uh, it is the beneficial uh, part of that ott that they are bringing so much of innovative contents with them. So it should not be brought under censorship act. But there should be some regulations, some oversight uh, oversight over these OTT platforms. Okay. Have you heard of Jack Ma? Uh, sorry, sir, but uh, he is a businessman. Yeah. Which country, which prominent company, whatever it is. He if I am not wrong, sir, uh, Alibaba founder. He was in news some time back, maybe a long time back. Some yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was in news. Why, why was in news uh, about six months, one year back? Yes, sir. Uh, he, is, uh, fr he is a citizen of China. And uh, China have uh, put some restrictions on him. And uh, he was uh, like out of the uh, news, like out of the... Uh, no, the, the public is fair for them. Uh, and recently some, uh, uh, another prominent businessman also uh, gone, uh, gone missing there. Do you know which one? Uh, no, sir, I'm not aware. Yeah. Okay. See, India is a member of Quad. Yes. What is Quad for? Uh, Quad is, uh, uh, the main purpose of Quad is the, uh, for the oversight of the Indian Ocean. Uh, free and open, uh, we, uh, we, ca we, uh, like we promote the free and open Pacific policy or uh, Indo-Pacific policy for that quad is there. It is to checkmate some some country? Uh, not officially uh, to checkmate, but we uh, we are there for China's expansionist policy. Okay. So, we have so we are against the China expansionist policy in Quad, but we are also member of the BRICS. Yes. Which are the country in BRICS? Uh, Brazil, uh, Russia. India, China, and South Africa. And how can we be member of uh, two contradictory groups? One is uh, anti-China, against China. One is with China. Yes. So how can we balance these two two groupings? Uh, sir, the purpose of the both the groups are very different. One is for Indo-Pacific uh, group, and uh, one is uh, uh, mainly related to the trade part, BRICS, is trade part. 
so we have to engage china we do not have to like uh, uh, alienate china we have to engage china because china is a economy which is booming and uh, if we will not engage china it is in our loss only so we have to continue its uh, expansionist policy also and at the same time engage with it.